Cathy, detectives believe the incident happened on this road last night. This is the St Paul's area of Bristol. And they say that the victim, who was 30, was taken by a member of the public to Bristol Royal Infirmary with a stab wound at around half past eight yesterday evening, but later died in hospital. The man who was arrested overnight on suspicion of his murder is still in custody. The police don't think this incident is related to recent stabbings in Bristol, but it comes just weeks after the deaths of three teenagers in two separate knife-related incidents. They were Mason Rist and Max Dixon, aged 15 and 16, who were attacked in the south of the city at the end of January, and then 16-year-old Darren Williams, who was stabbed to death just over a fortnight ago. And there have been numerous other really serious uh, knife incidents in Bristol of late. And there is naturally considerable public concern about what they're witnessing in the city right now. And as you mentioned, today a campaign has been launched called Together for Change. The Bristol Post has joined other local news outlets and campaigners and charities signing an open letter calling for a task force to be set up among other initiatives and saying enough is enough. Well, Andy, tell us a bit more about what the police have been saying today. They realise that this is a major issue for Bristol right now. Their own figures show that there's been a big rise in street-based knife crime offences in the last year, and this is what they had to say a little earlier. We're all fully aware of the concern recent incidents in this part of the city have had on our communities and we will work with others to make sure that appropriate support is in place for people who need it. Earlier today, we, wish you, we issued more details of our operation to tackle serious violence and knife crime, and we are committed to working with our partners and communities to tackle the root causes of these incidents. Now, that operation that he mentioned was launched a few weeks ago, and it involves knife sweeps of parks, the targeting of habitual knife carriers, as they put it. But as the police themselves acknowledge, this is an extremely complex issue which is going to require much deeper longer-term strategies in order to address it. Andy, thanks very much.